I called this meeting to let you know, coming out that I recognize how much work you put in here, okay? And to let you know how valuable you are in this company. However, I have noticed how much the workload has increased for you. What? Sir, I'm capable, I'm not complaining. Yeah, you shouldn't be. But then, the businesses we want to onboard are much. Okay, that is why we've come to an agreement that Kira here will be the head of marketing henceforth. Oh, sir, did I do something wrong? I, do, I don't understand. Excuse me. We're trying to restructure our office to become more efficient. Why are you making it personal? I, I'm not taking it personal, sir. You rightly stated that I'm valuable to this organization. So why would you make Kira head of my department? Without any reason. Well, I want to remind you that I am the managing director of this company. And it's my role to ensure that we meet our organizational goal and objective. So I decide who I hire and fire. That will be all. You know, at some point, I felt she wasn't going to yield. You know, I was almost asking her, like, why are you asking all the Q&As like she owned the place? Oh, she's like that most times. Well, she needs to be put in her place. <laughs> get back to work. Okay, I will, Daddy. <laughs> I was... Camilla. Camilla, what happened? Nothing. What is the nothing that happened? Nathan. He finally came public with his relationship with Kira. He also promoted her and gave her my position in the office, leaving me without any raise, no promotion, no position. I don't even know what I'm still doing in that office. I'm just floating. How can I have the heart to do such a thing to you? Does he realize that he's still in business because of you? Like, what is SM's marketing limited without you? This is the reason I told you to renegotiate your deal with that guy. Make all the money you can. I'm so sorry. That guy's just an ingot. Ha! Huh. The worst part is... I still have feelings for him. Babe. If Nathan can leave someone like you after how much you have invested in his life and business, and he's just the foolish, self-centered idiot that didn't deserve you in the first place. I like, come on now, he pays you peanuts and then you pay Kira five times what he's paying you. You put in so much work, 
I received nothing. I beg you, you need to renegotiate. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What the hell are you doing here? And why are you on my chair? <laughs> well, I'm just checking how it feels to be the marketing manager. You're already marketing manager. Don't you feel like it? Oh, yes, I do. I do feel like it. I'm thinking... This office best suits me. You have to move into the smaller one. Excuse you? <laughs> yes. You're excused. I wanted us to talk. I'd like to review my salary. Why is what we're paying you too much? So you're fully aware that you're not even paying me enough. I know what my colleagues in other companies are earning. Were you the one that said what we are paying you was enough? That was at the time. Now I have brought in so many clients for this company who are paying in millions. You can afford to increase my salary. I know what Kira is earning. And I was actually hoping that I wouldn't have to bring this up before you review my salary. So it's about Kira? It has nothing to do with Kira. Well, I've heard you. We will review salaries in the next four months. That is a long time. Would you like me to sign your recommendation later so you can go check other companies to know if they will give you a better offer? Like I said, I will review any salary after four months. Excuse me. Excuse me. What's going on? Where's everyone? Oh, um, they are all working with the new marketing manager. Memo was sent this morning. Then all this time, it was nothing to you. You gave, you gave it up for someone new. Are you the one expected to work on the campaign material? Alone? Yes, ma'am. You don't know what you did. 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 All right. Let me see. Updates. What do you have? Oh, okay. So, a minute, please. Okay, so um, what we're looking at is a total revamping of their websites, mm. landing pages, mm. redesigning of their email campaigns, and um, every other strategy that will make us save this deal. We just need to do everything in our power to save it because you know it's very, very important to this company.
sir. Sir, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're working on it, sir. We're working on it. Sir, listen, I understand what. Sir, you cannot take the project from us. I know, I know, and that's why. Yeah, sorry, yes. But that's why we are trying to make it up to you. So you love the marketing pieces we're putting up together for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, I promise you, first day tomorrow morning, you will get it. Okay. Alright, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. I really appreciate this. Thank you, sir. Hello, Peggy. Come to my office. Sorry, you sent for me. Peggy, what are you doing with your handbag? It's 6.30 p.m., sir. It's time for me to leave. Wow. The day is far gone. Have you called XMs? Um, yes, I did. And they said they would deliver late tomorrow evening. What? What are you talking about? They're supposed to deliver it today! See, the best we can do is to deliver first thing tomorrow morning. Call them! Oh, okay. Okay, sir. Only people in this establishment right now, right? Well, yes. Except uh, Lillian, I think she's working on something for Camila. I don't know. Oh, okay, I see. You know, they, she and her team are working on a client right now. You know, now mm -hmm. that she has fewer people, I suspect that she'll be working over time. She has never had issues with work, so she has got it. Do you? Do why? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Wait, are you laying Camila off? Okay. Technically, she's been laid off already. But meanwhile, do you have an issue with work? I would not disappoint you. I know. Mm. But I want you to start now to show me how she will not disappoint me. You're such a bad man. This is the office. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, what are you working on? Are you done? That can wait. Get back to work. Meet me as soon as possible. Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla, please wait. What? Uh, sorry. I just finished speaking with um, Peggy from Welling Limited. You can't wait till tomorrow evening. What? What do you mean by they can't wait? Um, I sent them an email adjusting the time and they obliged. Yes, um, she said the client wants it tomorrow morning or the day is off. But I can work all night and if you come in tomorrow morning, you will go through it. If you approve it, then we can send it to them. You know we're in a situation right now and your extra hours wouldn't attract any pay. I know. It's fine. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, beautiful. 
Um, so, please, can you please ask Camilla to move to the smaller office? I'm claustrophobic, so I can't work from there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Darling, that would be very, very difficult right now. <laughs> Moving her would be very difficult. Please, can you manage the conference room? Please. Well, if you say so, I can't. But you know that that office does not befit the new marketing manager, which I is know. me. I know. Okay, and I promise you, I'm going to sort out this office issue within one week. Okay? Okay. I love that smile. Come here. <laughs> Harry, did you sleep well? Yes, I did. Give me a smile. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Wow, this is really good. I'm impressed. Thank you, Mom. It's so good. I mean, the landing page is attractive. Wow. Thank you. I, I was concerned about that. You did this yourself? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's cool. I'll just uh, give them a call and let them know that it's ready. Thank you. Okay. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, yes, of course. I promised this morning. Uh, and yes, I'll, uh, we will deliver, sir. Sir, there's nothing to worry about. I'll, I'll send him to you. Sh I'll send him to you shortly, sir. Yes, sir. I'll do that. Yes, yeah, I understand what is at stake, sir. I, I'll send him to you shortly. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Check your email. Um, sorry, sir. Um, can you give me? A few minutes. Yes, I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Everything is in? Um, yes, sir. Um, I also called the brand marketing manager. She asked me to get across to them if we want anything to be rectified. Piggy, are you sure everything is here? Sure. Yes, sir. I'm okay. sure. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, okay, sir. Well, if you're telling me to move in with you, then you have to be specific. <laughs> So you want to start your shakara now, Abby? <laughs> <laughs> no, not like I want to start my shakara or anything. But then, I just want to be sure of what you're saying, my love. Well, I don't have anything to say to you. Mm. Yeah, I think I know what to do. Which is? All I need to do is just go to your house, pack your things myself. Whoa! That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Let's go for dinner first. Okay. Okay, baby. Yeah. Whatever you say. <laughs> um, sir, I'm ready to leave. Oh, okay. Sorry for keeping you, okay? That's fine. All right. I, I know things have been really tough around here and basically we have no staff. I'm barely a client. I know. But I think you should take care of yourself. With every passing day, it seems you look so exhausted and unhappy. Peggy, my staff strength went from 43 to 5. 5. And you are about the only person that still has her heart connected to what we're doing here. 
and there's no one in my situation who will be happy about it. I understand, sir. But you just have to see joy in the work we do here. That way, if ideas come on how to restructure this company, you'll be ready for it. Uh, thank you very much, Peggy. I really appreciate it. Okay? All right, no problem. Take care. Thank you. All right, good night. Good evening, sir. Hello, sir. I've been trying to reach you for the feedback on the email I sent. I, I tried calling and... What do you mean, sir? How do you mean what you sent this nonsense, sir? No, 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 sir. Sir, I'm very sorry about this. I, I, I promise... Hello? Hello, sir? Hello? He has dropped. How? Doesn't mean um, works in this rubbish. Mm. Excuse me. It's okay. Hello. What? What was that? What is it? What is it? Thanks to Camilla. We just lost a deal worth millions of naira. What? <laughs> Camilla. Damn it! Just, just calm down. Calm down. Shit! Just calm down, okay? I, I want her. I. Calm down, baby, okay? I think you need to call her like ASAP, like now. Oh, we need to get back to the office right now. The client is there waiting for me. Oh, shit. Okay. She just had to ring today. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Just slow down, baby. Get out of the way! Get out of the way for me! Just slow down. Out, okay, just calm down. Yeah. All I'm saying, okay, we can redo every marketing material we've sent. All right, for who? For who exactly? For a client has pulled out. Listen, we paid for our price, we not collect a dime from this client. As it stands now, we've lost everything. I know, okay, I know this does not do much. But please, we will not be collecting the balance anymore. And we would like to know how much we can refund. I'm, I'm really disappointed. Like, completely disappointed. We came to Essence because you guys are supposed to be one of the best in town. We are sourced to you because you're supposed to deliver. Yes. What are you talking about? This is disgusting. Completely disgusting. Thanks for having We're very sorry, sir. I know Camilla will not do this. She can't make this kind of a mistake. I know that she's she's doing this deliberate. But why would she deliberately mix up marketing campaign materials for two different companies? That's sheer wickedness. Hey, this one you're laughing. What are you watching? <laughs> Is this proper? I don't even understand. Okay, no problem. Me, I'm going <laughs> to my room. I was walking. I've had a long day. I know. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Hello, Nathan. 
What? What do you mean by I'm costing the company money? Can you please stop yelling? Stop yelling! No, that's impossible. I, I followed the client's brief to the letter. I did everything they asked for. And if there was any problem, I told them they could come to me. Why didn't they tell me? What? That is impossible. What happened? <sighs> Babe, I don't understand. Like, some client's job, I followed the... Hey, calm, calm, down, calm down. I followed the details of this project to the letter. I don't understand. How is that? This is not possible now. going on? Camilla, don't play games with me, okay? You know I'm not that kind of person. What are you talking about? Look, if you're tired of working with me, why don't you tell me? I will give you every support you need. Tired of working with you? Why would I be tired of working with a company that I've given the best of my years to? You tell me. Tell me why on earth would someone with your level of experience mix up two campaign materials for two different companies? Do you know how much I don't even know what wellness and detail you're thinking right now. Nathan, you know me. You know I'm not that kind of person. I've worked tirelessly to help you build this organization. So you want to bring it down now? I can't tear down a company that I love so much. It's not even possible. It's possible. Very possible, probably because I did not respond to the salary review you asked me to do for you. Spin this however it is you want. I did exactly what was on that brief. If there's any mistake, it's from the other company and not me. You know how silly it is for you to make games right now? You don't, right? I think you have recently been disconnected. Been disconnected and been careless about work. What are you trying to say? Camilla, go home. I will get back to you. Are you asking me to leave this company? I'm sure I did not start her. Get out of my office. Hello? 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 What may I do for you? Hi, my name is Camilla Vera. I'm here from SMS. I take it that you're Peggy, right? Yes, I am. So you're the one who has been corresponding between both companies? Yes. It was you who sent the mail. Camilla, Camilla, right? Yeah. Please, I don't have time for all this. I don't have access to it anymore. Well, unfortunately, I have time for this. I can't move from it. If you go through the emails and the brief that was sent, you would see that we did everything to the letter. So whoever it was that compiled that brief is the one behind this mix-up. I don't have access to the brief again. 
Well, I do. It's right here. You can have a look at it. Every detail, every email, every correspondence is here. Look at it. I don't have authorization to go through this with you. And who gives authorization? Your managing director, the MD, the department head, CEO, whoever. Who? The managing director. And he's not on seat. Fine. I'll wait. Sorry you can't wait because he won't be coming in today. <laughs> you know I'm jobless. I lost my job because of this. I have all day. I'm sorry about that. You will do more than tell me sorry. You will tell your boss or your managing director, whatever title he bears, that I'm here. And I'll be here tomorrow, the day after, till next week if I have to, until we rectify this situation. Comprende? Fine. Can you go now? I can't believe Nathan would just lay me off like that. Even when I wasn't guilty of, of the mistake he claims I made. Even if you were guilty of it, haven't you sacrificed enough? You've done so much for that company that you deserve a second chance. How would he walk you out of the office just like that? You know, I really thought that we could grow the company together and just be together forever. Together? Camilla. <laughs> Do you realize that you love Nathan more than he loves you? And he knows that. That's the reason why he doesn't even value you. Because if he does, you would not be talking about a salary review. Look at the rubbish he pays you. Ha. Huh. down. Listen, Camilla, I've known you for a very long time. We were working together before you started working with Nathan to build his company. I know how you work. I know the way you take your work pretty seriously. The problem is you don't even realize it. That's I, my problem. I do. No, you don't. I do. No. And that is why you allow Nathan to treat you the way he does. You're giving the gods that you're anybody that he can treat anyhow. You shouldn't even be asking for what you deserve. You should get it. If I deserve it, I shouldn't ask. No, you should. You should. You are the one who made SMS what it is today. You're supposed to be running your company, Camila. You put together the best marketing piece for big brands. The marketing <laughs> presentation that SMS is known for today, you created it. Have you forgotten? With your team that you put together to create the best. I'll miss my team. Yeah, they'll miss you too. I mean, Nathan isn't good for you. I know I've said this too many times, but you really need to, you know, let him go from your heart. That's the only way this can work. I love him. I'm still in love with him. Nathan is not a good person. You're never supposed to lack money. You work too hard for that. You can't love him more. I love him. Let him go from your heart. See why I love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much for trusting me with the department. You're such a delight. <laughs> I know, right? And this office really looks good on you. Yes, it does. The cheer, the ambience, everything just speaks of me. <laughs> mm. So, what next? Well, is to do good, do better. <laughs> <laughs>
So, are you ready to go? Mm, no, but I'll be in 10 minutes. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Wait, <laughs> you're going to be here staring the entire 10 minutes? Yes, I'm going to be doing that for 10 minutes even more. You're such a smart man. <laughs> okay, let me round off. And this is an office. Behave like it. Mm. You're very beautiful. I know. <laughs> Hello? Morning. I'm here. Please, I'm here to see Peggy or the manager. No, they are not available. Ma. Sorry? They are not available. Ma. What do you mean by they are not available? I will wait for them. When they resume, I will. They have resumed, but not available to see any person. Do you know what I'm here for? Do you know who I am? Do you know why I want to see them? Ma, you were here yesterday. Did they ask you not to let me in? Madam, please. All I know is that Madam Peggy and Oga, they are not available to see any person. Please, ma. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> he doesn't even know what I need to see them. Lillian! There you are. Why did you refuse to work on the notes I made in the brief of working with? Miss Kira, this is not the first time we're working with the company. Miss Camilla brought them and designed what works for them. It took us weeks to perfect what they want. So, because Miss Camilla brought them, we shouldn't do better. No, but we are going to end up doing exactly what they said they didn't want in the first place. Lillian, I know you already know this, but let me sound it to your ears again. Camila is gone, and I am your new boss, and you will not dare flap my orders again. If you do, you will not like the response to that. So now, you're going to go with the team that I asked you to go join and do exactly as I've instructed in that brief. Unless you want to find yourself in the next available door outside of this establishment. It hurts to know 
Where have you been? You look terrible. Do you know anyone at Welling Limited? Well, no. You know why? They are the reason I don't have a job right now. And it hurts so bad. Because I'm not all. What do you mean you don't have a job? You don't know what you did. You don't know what you did. You don't know what you did. Madam. No. What is it? Madam. I'm not going anywhere until I see him. Hello. Hey, leave the road. Let him drive me. I say I will not go anywhere. Madam, what is it now? I need to drive in. I have work to do. I've been trying to see you, but this man won't let me enter. Hey. Obama said, nah, Madam Peggy, give me instructions. I'm not lying. Oh. What can I do for you? My name is Camilla from SMS. SMS? Yes. Listen, tell your boss to leave me alone. Now you need to leave here because I have a lot on my table right now. I can't leave. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, this brief that you sent to us has some mistakes in it and it's from someone in your office. Oh, wow. So that's the story you guys came up with. That's really sad. Look, the evidence is right here. I need you to take a look at it. Just look at it. I followed this brief to the letter. Cam Camilla, right? Yes, Camilla. The deal is gone. Go back to your boss and tell your boss to move on. Because we around here, we've all moved on. Okay? I can't move on. Okay, I've lost my job. So clearly, I don't have any boss to go back to. John, let's in. Okay, boss. Yeah, madam, I can't enter. Madam, no Don't try her. Madam, go inside. Oh, wow. Come in. Please have a seat. Camilla, you are saying you are the one that handled our project. Yes. I used to be the brand and marketing manager for SMS. Good morning, sir. Come in. Peggy, I was here earlier to resolve the same issue. Why am I just hearing about this? Because I felt... Because it was not important. Excuse me? Your claim that we gave you the wrong brief is ridiculous. <laughs> really? Ridiculous, really? Then how come I have right here the campaign material for two different companies? I have done my research and that is what's inside here. Um, it's okay, Camilla. I'll, I'll look into this and I'll get back to you, okay? Thank you. Thank you for your time. No need to get back to me. I'll be here tomorrow. And please, for your sakes, don't ask your security to keep me out. We'll call you. Thank you. Something is wrong with this color layout. I don't like it. Change it. But 
this is exactly what you asked me to do. And I'm asking you now to change it. And you have 24 hours to do just that. Give me a working color palette that I can work with. With this brand or whatever. Get out of my office. What is wrong with these people? How are you doing? I've heard, I know, I know, but you guys have to talk to him. He has to wait. He needs to wait. Look, as much as we can't, I can't afford to give anything right now, we will pay him. Tell him something. Just give him some story or an excuse to buy time. As it is right now, I'm in hot soup at work. I have a situation going on and I might not even get paid. So you guys need to calm down and understand. Everybody needs to be on their toes right now. Please just tell tell mommy that I'm sorry I haven't picked up her calls, but I've been so busy and swam with work. Yeah, I'll call her. No problem. All right. I love you. It's like you don't get it. You don't get it. I can see his car inside. I must see him today. Today, today, I must see your boss. Better let me in. Madam, they are having a meeting. They are just causing us here. They are having a meeting inside. Please. What dirty meeting? I know they are not having any meeting. I know these people. They are so irresponsible. What kind of company is this? Very fake company. Irresponsible. Madam, madam, stop this. You have to leave now. <laughs> madam, because I'm just doing my job. And you are making it difficult for me. Ah. There is no job anywhere. Please come and go. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to resume in this your job every day. You will experience me from now till the end I of the year. I don't respect you because you're I don't have work now. I don't I have respect job. Because be I will man. resume with you. Madam, I respect because you come and go. Touch me now. Don't let me push I you. I said, get out of Madam, here. I said, Madam, go back. Don't touch me. Madam, go back. Does she realize this is a workplace? Why is she screaming? Besides, have you confirmed that she's no longer a staff at SMS? Yes, um, I've reached out to them and she was truly sad. Alright, tell the security man to go back to his workstation. When she's tired, she will go back. Okay, sir. And I need you to cross-check all our correspondence with SMS. I need to know exactly what happened. Okay, Alright? Okay, sir. explain something to you. What? I, I might I might have made some mistakes in the briefs I, I sent. What? You did what? I'm, I'm sorry sir. I don't know what happened. I'm, I'm really sorry. What do you mean you don't know what happened? You're really sorry. You made us lose this project and you kept quiet all along. Sorry. You know, you can't, you can't tell me you are sorry. I never told me about this. So it wasn't intentional. I didn't know how to. Can you just shut up? Are you telling me that Camilla has been right all along? She's been saying the truth. Yes, sir. I was so scared to tell you. By the time I realized, it was too late. Peggy, Peggy, you, you were scared to tell me that you made us. Wow. 
This is unbelievable. Sam, so, I'm, I'm sorry. It wasn't intentional. Um, please, um, let the lady in. Yes, thank you. Sorry. Babe, can you just let me think? I prefer to stand. I just called your boss and his number is not available. Why are you people treating me like this? No, what exactly have I done? It's so easy. The documents are right there. Everything is there. Just go through our correspondence. You will see that this is not my fault. Don't even think that ignoring me or trying to intimidate me will get rid of me. I will stick to this company like glue. I lost my job. And I can't afford to be without a job right now. Sincerely, I personally apologize. I've realized that we are responsible for our own problems. I'm sorry, what did you just say? We, we are responsible for what happened. <laughs> it took you so long. Why? Okay, this is good news. Great. Okay, um... Um, so maybe you could help me speak with my boss at SM's and get them to give me back my job. Um, I'll go back shortly, okay? Okay. Okay, Please just have a seat. I'll be back, okay? So you're trying to tell me that it is not our fault? That's exactly what I'm saying. You know, my company is on the staff right now. And apparently one of my staff was overwhelmed with work and then mixed up the briefs. So the fault is from us. When did you discover this? Today. Actually, moments ago. I practically jumped into my car and drove down here when I heard what happened that the truth of what happened and I realized that this incident might have made you take some uncomfortable decisions right yes I did and it's a decision I do not regret you let go your brand marketing manager yes um, you see Knowing what you know now, knowing that no one here in your company is responsible, I think it would be wise to reinstate her and anyone else you sack. She's the only one sacked and has been replaced. Wow, that was fast. Look, that office is an important one, okay? We had no time and we had a competent replacement standing by. Well, she's not responsible for what happened here. We do not have any more space here, Maxwell. It's okay. Um, thank you so much, Mr. Nathan. You're welcome. So please don't forget to send us every project you have sourced. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great. Um, sorry, I didn't know you. No, it's fine. I have to the city. No, no, it's okay. Um, Maxwell? Yes. Meets our new brand marketing manager, Kira. Oh, hi. Hello. I'm really glad you look so much better today. The last time I saw you, you were very much upset. No, it's okay. It's nice to see you again. Nice to meet you too. All right. Thank you, Nathan. I'll see you some other time. Good to see you. Okay. So, why was he here? He came to tell us that um, it was their mistake. Oh, so that means Camilla didn't make any wrong. Yes. Does that mean she's coming back? Are you calling her back? Come on, don't say that. 
you know, of course, I would do no such thing. She's not coming back here again. Okay. So please, do not be scared. This office is yours. Okay. We're all good. I sat with your boss. Okay. He's unwilling to reinstate you. Even after telling him the truth? I met the new brand marketing manager. It hurts. Kira. It hurts to know. I do think there is much more to this incident. I would advise you meet with your boss and resolve whatever is going on. Okay? I only did what I felt was right. Oh, what is this? Are you telling me I'm on my own? I'm afraid so. You can't do that to me. In spite of whatever may have been going on at work, this incident gave them the excuse to get me out of there. I'm sorry, there's nothing more I can do for you, Camilla. Now. There's something you can do. You can hire me. Excuse me? Yes, this is your office. You own this organization. You can hire and fire as you please. I'm very competent. Your organization clearly needs someone as good as I am. Your establishment, sorry to say, has no presence. I can change that. We are not hiring. Besides, we can't even afford it. You can afford me. Pay me whatever it is you can afford. Even if it's for a short while. I just need a job. Listen, you are a brilliant young lady. And I'm sure there are companies that are willing to take you in. And they will pay you very well. I want to work here. Just a few months and I'm out of your hair, really. Okay. I'll think about it. There is nothing to think about. You owe me that much. I resume work here tomorrow. Thank you. The salary will be small. I'll take it. See you tomorrow, boss. Doing some research. I'm working on Wellington Limited's brand management strategy. And, um, oh, Wellington. <laughs> do you now work with them? Yes, I do. Really? <laughs> well, that's good news. But that's quick. Don't get too excited. The salary is not so good, but it's fair. Why would you settle for small salary again? I am not settling for a small salary. I'm just holding on to this until I get something bigger. Besides, the company reminds me a lot of SMs. <laughs> okay, you didn't see any of those big marketing companies to work for so they pay you better. Why? So the thing is, I, I want to see if I apply the same principles I did with SMs, if it would work and grow this company. I like the challenge. It's exciting. Why do you like to suffer? It is not called suffering. No, you like to suffer because go to a place that they will pay you well and then you enjoy your life. No. You like to suffer. Why? Anyway, congratulations. So. This congratulations is not from your chest. I do not accept it. You will suffer ahead now. Yeah. Suffer ahead like you. I like, like suffering like you. What do you want me to go say? Congratulations. Have to send them. That has nothing to do with this one. Mm. Alright. <laughs> you like? Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. Thank you. You can say it. Where's everybody that's meant to be in here? <laughs> this is actually everyone. Me and the MD. The remaining four are working remotely because of the salaries that were slashed. 
Okay. All right. It's fine. I'm really sorry for what happened last time. It's okay. All right. Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your office, okay? If I you will. want anything, just call on me and I'll answer you, okay? I will. Take care. I will. They understand what he has to do with brand association. They can transform image, preference, and to what have you. All I want you to do is to guide them, Kira. And what do you think I've been doing? Kira, for the first time in a long time in this company, our clients are complaining about our materials. Okay, this is not what I want to do in my company. All you do with your team is bounce around blame. I don't like the way you sounded. What do you mean you don't like the way I'm sounded? What do you mean you don't like the way I'm sounded? I was the one begging the client to stay in business. This is not what I want to do in my company, Kira! I can't be doing your work! I wanted to run something by you, sir. It's okay, go ahead. I'd like us to take up Wellings Limited as our first client. You want us to be our own client? Exactly. Look, there's a lot of work here to be done. We need to build trust. We need to build credibility. We need to build our brand, create awareness, have a stronger voice if we're going to speak for our clients. And to do this, I need about a month to work and probably work with a team. And um, we need money for this? Yes, we do. But I could call in some favors and uh, put in my best just to make sure we achieve this. I'm sure that we'll get the kind of clients that we desire. I just need your permission. Okay. Go ahead. All right. All right. Lesson. 
What is it? It's Nathan. I can't stop thinking about him. I want to get over him. I want this to stop. Don't worry. You will. You'll get over him. Okay? <laughs> Come. Give me the hug. Come here. <laughs> Why are you doing this? First of all, you need to get rid of that picture. Mm-hmm. It's the process. Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be fine. Okay? Yes. But I don't know if it's possible for yes, for me to get like a small loan, I would really appreciate it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, thank you. I really appreciate it, all right? Thank you so much. Hello? Oh, yes, I'm, I'm at work. I'll go through the email as soon as possible. Yes, thank you. Yeah, hello? Yeah, hi. I'll need you to send me some more designs. I'm currently going through these ones and um, I'll have feedback ready, but I need some more. 
Yes, please send them to me as soon as possible. Thank you. Hi. You sent for me? Yes. I need you to give this to the MD. Oh, okay. Let him know I printed out some samples and I made notes on the ones I suggest. Okay. I don't know. He has the final decision. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So these are the new letterheads. No problem. I'll, I'll, I'll hand it over to him. Right. Is there anything you want me to do? No. I'm fine. Thank you. All right. Thank you. The new letterhead is ready. Camilla okay. asked me to give it to you to approve it. Wow. These are amazing. Mm -hmm. See, I, I wish I could pick more than one. Mm -hmm. But I'm seeing the suggestions you made here, but these are nice. No, we're supposed to pick one for consistency sake. Peggy, I know that, but these look amazing. Mm-hmm, indeed. In fact, there's no way I can pick one right now. So, I'll get back to you on this, okay? Okay, sir, no problem. <laughs> Take your yeah. time. This guy is good. Can I get a contact for a web developer and a graphics designer? Yeah, I'll need it at the latest tomorrow. It's urgent. Okay, I'll expect it. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, bye. all this time It was nothing to you You gave Coming. Hey, Camila. Hi. The MD asked me to give you this lunch. Really? <laughs> but what's going on? <laughs> Probably just thanking you for coming to our lives. <laughs> I see. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, okay, let me let me see. Yeah, just uh, thank you for me. I'll probably call him and thank you. Myself. All right, no problem. Take care. I
I'm telling you that she told me nothing about not being available tomorrow until a few minutes ago when I called her. And I'm telling you she came to me when you were having a meeting that she has an emergency. I asked her to go. She's going to be away for tomorrow. She's just going to be away for a day. So, since when was it okay for them to come to you directly? Since I told him it was okay to come to me and that you cannot relate with them properly. Look, I'm not going to lose the people that make this company work because of you. Let me get this straight. So, you are the reason Lillian and her entire team has been disregarding my instruction the entire time? That's not true. I want to step in it to make sure things don't get worse. If you didn't trust me with this department, Nathan, you would have just said so. Let's discuss about this tomorrow. It's past 7 p.m. and I'm tired. <laughs> Very well then. Have a good night. Good night. Hi, good morning, sir. Good morning. Um, thank you. I received the alert yesterday. I wasn't expecting that, so I'm sorry I had to call you last night. I just needed to confirm that it was all mine. <laughs> I didn't want to hear that I needed to do a refund because <laughs> as the money just got into my account, I started spending it. Yeah, you should. <laughs> you deserve much more than that. Listen, what you've done here in one month is nothing short of a miracle. Thank you. You turned the whole place around. <laughs> Like, I'm, I was just thinking, like, how would anyone in the right senses let you go? It doesn't make any sense to me. And I practically spend every day, you know, going through our social media handles, the websites, and your work is phenomenal. You're amazing. <clears throat> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, with your permission, I was hoping that I could reach out to the old clients of um, Wellings. I've done some research and it seems like their brand is really struggling. I'm sure they'll be happy to have us handle their brief and their campaign, so I'd like to send them an email, if that's okay. I, I really doubt that. For most of them, they were really dissatisfied with our services. I don't see how they'll come back. I really mm. don't. It's understandable, but don't worry about it. Just leave it to me. You know I can be very persuasive. You know me. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> I do. I agree. All right. Okay. Thank you. You have my permission. Great. Right. Good afternoon, Miss Camilla. Miss Peggy said I can wait here for you. Why are you here? To assist you. <laughs> Lillian, I told you I needed an assistant. I didn't ask you to leave your job. I didn't want anyone else to do it, so I decided to do it myself. I really want to do it myself. <sighs> what about your job? Yes, I will work on yours at home, but I promise I will be as fast as you need me to be. Please, Miss Camilla, please. I really need to do this. Let me do this. I, I've really missed working with you. I've missed you making corrections on my work or even giving me notes. I don't know. This is dicey. I don't want any conflict of interest. As much as I've missed working with you, you're very competent and... <sighs> How are the staff at work? Oh. Adu and Timmy? Everybody misses you. They miss you. Mm. Ooh. This is hard. Okay, I'll send you the brief. 
No one should know about this, especially as I said. I promise. I promise. All right. Yes, sir. Well, if you go through our website, you can see the many ways that our company can give visibility to your brand. You could also walk into our office and then we will tailor out a marketing strategy just for your company. Okay, sir. <laughs> I'm glad I've been able to convince you, sir. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. I can't wait to do business with you. Have a good night, sir. Bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. We do all of that. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I look forward to receiving your team. I appreciate you, sir. Wow. Um, get Camilla, and I need both of you here. Please um, have your seats. Okay. Camilla, what you have done is working. Your work mm -hmm. is incredible. I'm getting calls from old and new clients. Everyone uh, wants a piece of Welling Limited. <laughs> <laughs> we need to prepare because they are willing to trust us with their brands. So how do we do this? How do we prepare for them? Oh, this is great news. Basically, we would work on a document. Peggy and I work on something. A document that contains our structure, um, timelines, deliverables for each client and how they'll be attended to. The treatment, everything will be, cre will be created in that document. So whoever comes in knows how they'll work with us. That sounds good. Um, I was also thinking we could revamp the company. I know it will cost a lot of money but I feel the company also needs a facelift that will match with the image that has been created online. Mm, I agree. <laughs> uh, yes, um, maybe we should put together a budget for that. Mm? Yes, we should. Yeah. All right. Um, so, let's all get to work. All right. Thank you, sir. We are, we are going to be having a lot of people coming in, so everybody <laughs> has to be at their best. Okay. Sure, right. sure, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> Lunch from Oga. Thank you. He knows I can buy my own lunch, right? Oh, of course he knows. He just does this once in a while when he's very happy. Okay. All right. <laughs> So, so please, listen to what I have to say, okay? I, I know we've done badly, and we are trying as much as possible to rectify it. Yes. I, I understand the fact that what we presented as our brand message was not in line with your expectation, and trust me, whatever it takes to deliver to, to you, we will do it, sir. We will. So we have come a long way, all right? We've worked for a very long time. You cannot just back out now. We, we Give us some time to fix this, please. We want to make it right now. L listen, sir, it's, this is 8 p.m. I am still, I am still in the office. I'm still in the office trying to fix this. So please give us some time to make this right, okay? We'll get back to you, sir. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I took the pain and I put it in something new. I let the new go was a blessing in this place. What you did, what you did, what you did. I took the hurt. I used to be 43 stars as of two years ago, but some people resigned and some were laid off, but good recommendations were written for them. Not until four months ago, we had five stars and the boss asked us to work remotely. Well, because of the workload, he had to call me back. I mean, we need them back. We need to call them back. Maybe the first set of the most passionate and goal-oriented staff. We can start with that. What do you think? Because the workload is too much. Okay, um, I'm actually thinking about some already. I think of some already. Okay, I think we need the ones that are extremely passionate and loyal to this company. Because loyalty is key. You're right. Uh, I just think you should be the best person to talk to boss. Since our office will be overwhelmed with clients very soon. Okay, I'll just wrap up what I'm doing and uh, now go see him. Okay. If you need anything, just call on me, okay? Mm, I think I would like to see their CVs first. And then I'll tell you which ones to call back. Okay. All right, no, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Can you see what is going on here? Welling is back in business. I hope I've made you proud somehow. Oh. Uh, I, I, I saw the door open. I did, I, I'd come back later. Okay. Come in. Okay. Uh, it's okay. I was just talking to my brother. Talking to your brother? Yes, my late twin brother. He's actually the one with the vision for wedding. I only supported him. For his sake, I'm here. And thanks to you, you know, for making me look like I know what I'm doing. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize the founder of Wellings was family to you, <clears throat> your brother. I'm so sorry about your loss. It's all right. So, what brought you here? I wanted to talk to you about work. We have a few matters arising. I was hoping we could address them. Yeah, sure we can. But why don't we talk about it over dinner? Dinner? Yes, tonight. That's if you don't mind. Okay. All right. So I, I understand the day is far gone. So this is a short notice, but I'll send you the address. And I, I can pick you up. Is that okay? Okay. All right. So, I say you go home and get ready. All right. Kira, we've not been doing well these past two months. And when you say we've not been doing well these past few months, you're insinuating that it's my fault because I've only been the brand marketing manager for two months to be exact. I am not accusing you, okay? I am only telling you the truth. Look, we are a brand marketing and management firm. So if we do not analyze properly our brand perception in the market, then strategically put together materials that can better guarantee our brand recognition and awareness, then we are doing badly. You know that. Of course I do know that. When Carmela was here, she did not only design and inspire her team a better way to deliver to our clients. She did more. 
she gave them more. And that's why many brands couldn't let go of us. You know, Camilla... If this is the moment you sit me here and tell me to my face how Camilla is much more better than I am, is this what this discussion is about, Camilla? That's not the point. Okay? Kira, our clients are complaining. The materials you put out there are not meeting to the expectations. We are not doing well. I can't even believe I'm saying this to you. So you miss her that much, don't you? Her absence has suddenly made her attractive again. I think I need to be away too. Maybe that will make you come back to your senses and say that I am not the problem here. I am doing the best I can to see that this company moves from where it is to where it's supposed to be. And you're not even appreciating my efforts. You give me too little credit for all the things I do. Can I say something to you? What? You are not doing your best. You will come look for me. I know it. I'm sure you are shocked the way I asked for this dinner. Hmm. Yes, I was. I still am very surprised. That was about the only way I could do it. You know, it's better than having it in my head and just thinking about it forever. You know, planning the best way, the best day to say it and ending up not saying it. So I had to say it at that exact moment. Hmm. So, what if I said no? I'll just chill and get to ask you another time. I actually have a lot of questions. So do I. I'll answer truthfully. I'll try to be honest. Okay. <laughs> so, what happened to you at SM's? Hmm. SMs. Okay. So, a certain company called Wellings Limited sent the wrong brief and I got fired. I'm ashamed right now. <laughs> oh, God. Well, to be honest with you, that's mm. the best mistake we've ever made. I understand, like, I understand it costs to pay. And I'm sorry about it. Ooh. But I'll be lying if I say I'm not glad Nathan replaced you. I guess that came out wrongly. It's fine. It's okay. I mean, nobody is irreplaceable. But why? Why really? Like, you know, when I told him the mistake was from us, he didn't show any regrets. He just told me that you've been replaced and there's nothing you could do about it. He just made me feel like there's a story there somewhere. So, the thing is, I met Nathan five years ago. Okay. I was working with a marketing agency. He was trying to get SMs off the ground and the company wasn't doing well. Mm. I decided to resign. I mean, we had started seeing each other and I saw potentials in SMs. I saw the possibilities. I knew the skills that I could bring to the table. So I resigned and joined his company. Mm. 
Okay. And we started to do really well. I brought in new clients. We were growing. Mm. Things were going so good. Until four years down the line, he started to take decisions without. Nathan starts going behind my back to change projects, to alter designs that I had worked on. And whenever I confront him, he would say, if I was tired, I should leave. Wow. After four years of building together. Incredible. <sighs> then there were dating rumors. I recruited Kira mm -hmm. and I trained her. I confronted him because I heard that he was seeing her. Wait, the, the lady that replaced you? Yes. He would downplay my contributions to the company. He made it look like I didn't do anything. I wasn't valuable in the organization. Until I confronted him. And afterwards, our relationship started to dwindle. Wow. Everything just went downhill from there on. But I was happy I, I confronted him. I was happy, I let it out of my mind, and uh, um, I'm in a much better place now. It's good, okay, it's fine. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Hearing it breaks my heart. It's fine, enough about me. What about you? Okay, what about me? First off, I have to start with confessing that two years after my brother left the company, I ran it at ground. And it took a lady screaming at my gate man to revive the company. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, I have no background, no training at all in marketing, brand, nothing. I'm just an engineer who loves metals. But when it meant a lot to my brother, my late brother always talked about it. It was something he loved. And there was no way I could just, you know, shut the doors. It was hard for me to do. So I had to step in and see what I could do. So sorry about that. How have you been coping? <sighs> Honestly, I don't know. My late brother and I was everything to each other. We lost our parents when we were 15. Yeah, 15. And he decided to leave me. Now I'm left alone in this world. It's okay. Uh, honestly, I don't like people beating me, you know. It's tough, but I'll pull through. Yeah. <laughs> I hope we could do this more often, you know. The dinner, the hanging out. Um... I don't know, I just got out of a situation ship, so I would I'll think about it. It's okay. <laughs> I'll pray about it. <laughs> just so you know, I'm always happy when I see you in the office. Please don't leave us. You sent it late. I waited at the office till everyone was gone. You didn't send anything. Can we continue this conversation in the morning? Can I call you back? <laughs> Is that joy I see on your face? Uh, yeah. Okay. You had a great day? I did. I enjoyed myself, honestly. He's so... Sweet. Aww. We talked about everything. When I say everything, literally everything under the sun. And he's kind of shy, but in a very cute way. I find him so attractive. Oh my god. I literally just wanted to lean in and give him a hug. A big hug. You know that kind of hug where you just a like hug. Ah. 
<laughs> oh, babe, I'm so happy for you. Look at you, you're so happy now. Yes, I am. Uh, your stupid smile. You, your stupid smile. <laughs> I'm happy for you, darling. Thank you. Wow, okay, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I still know this number. Yes, I'm good. And you? I'm fine. Uh, actually, I'm not. Yes, I am. Are you okay? Please, is it possible for me to see you? Hello, are you still there? Camilla. I, I need you. Okay, everything we built is crashing gradually. I'm watching it crash and can't do anything. Can we please talk? Where are you? From the office. I was on my way to lunch. I could um, come over to SM's briefly. <sighs> Thank you very much, Camilla. I'll be waiting for you. You're going to SM's to see Nathan? Yes, I am. Why? I don't know yet. I'm not asking why he's calling you. I'm asking you why you are going. Because SM means a lot to me. So you are going back to SM's? I don't want to be late for lunch. We'll talk about this when I get back. I hate myself for what I did to you. Okay, I I don't know how I'm gonna make it right. Come in, I miss you here. Okay. Where do you work now? I'm at Wellings Limited. Maxwell hired you? I left him no choice, considering it was his company that made you fire me. I mean, I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. All right. I miss you here in my life, everything. Look, I feel very stupid right now. Nobody needs to tell me is that you're the key to the existence of this company. You're losing clients, Camilla. Why? Because we cannot meet up to the expectations anymore. We, we can't satisfy them. Look, you have that unique talent to meet up with your brand needs. Everybody here misses you, Camilla. Camilla, come here. Camilla. I need you here. Okay, take all the time in the world to think about it. I will wait. But please. I need you here, please. It's so good to see you again, Nathan. Why? 
are you smiling to yourself? <laughs> I went to see Nathan. How did you do that? He called and he said he wanted to see me, so... so I, I thought you just had a dinner date with Maxwell. Yes, I did, so... I wanted to see Nathan, okay? You know how passionate I am about the company. We set it up together. He talked about my work ethic and... I'm not going to stand here and listen to this because I know where this is headed. Well, come now, what is it? I'm not done speaking. This was the same conversation we had a year ago when he cheated on you with Kira. What did he do when you found out? He called you, apologized to you, said nice things to you and you forgave him. What next? He went public with Kira and sacked you. Have you forgotten? What is wrong with you? Look, I haven't forgotten, but... I thought you liked Maxwell. Nathan isn't good for you, please. Can you just hear me out first? Uh -uh. Why are you so upset? <laughs> hey! Happy birthday, boss. I thought we agreed that last year was the last time you or anyone would get to make it. What am I supposed to do with this? So you take it home and rest. Today is Saturday, you shouldn't be working. You should be resting. I choose where I want to be, Peggy. Okay, so happy birthday once more. You gave, you gave it up for someone new. And it hurts so bad. Cause I'm not old. Coming! I'm coming! Who's there? Hey, darling. Come in, come in, have a seat. No, it's really important. Are you sure? What's wrong? How did you find me? I hope everything is alright. Okay, fine. I first I got your address from the office file. Okay. And today is our boss's birthday. Really? How come he didn't say anything? He never talks about it. He's always moody on his birthday. He just likes to be alone. <sighs> this is really important. That's why I came to see you. You've actually been the first person in two years to make him very, very happy ever since he lost his twin brother. Oh. So I, I I just want you if you could call him and at least wish him happy birthday to mean a lot to him I guess. He's really moody right now. Okay, um, do that. I, I have to get going now. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye. Right. Thank you. I'm coming. Nathan. <laughs> Come in, come in, come in. Thank you. <laughs> so good to be You know, I, I had to come by. Uh, after explaining everything to you, all you said was, it was nice to see you. Yes, because it's always nice to see you. Come here. I need you. Yes, I know I've set up already, but it seems I need you. Please. I'll double your salary. I'll do anything you want, but I need you back. You know, it seems it's our baby. Don't let it die. Hi. Hi, Maxwell. Hi, Nathan. You're here? Yes, I'm here. I 
I didn't know what to do with the cake. I Happy birthday. Come in. Thank you. Come in. Yeah. Uh, come in. Can we talk inside? Uh, no. Let's, let's sit. Just have a seat. Come in. Come in. Nathan, I have listened to everything you have to say and quite frankly, I am, I'm touched. But the thing is, I have to say no. You see, your offer is really tempting, I must say. But right now, I experience a level of job satisfaction and fulfillment at Wellings. And I understand your situation at work, the situation with SM's, our baby. But I'm with Welling now. We will be more than happy to help you sort out your jobs. You could shoot us an email and we will attend to it. You can outsource your projects to us at Wellings and we will deliver in record time and with excellence. Thank you for your time. Thank you. You're welcome. I was wondering, when did you decide that working at Welling was a good idea? It was that moment when you told me Nathan had fired me even though he knew I did nothing wrong. At that moment, I just, I wanted a place to plant the dreams that I had for Essence. I'm a freaking lucky guy, I swear. <laughs> At what point did you think it was okay to take your staff for dinner? <laughs> well, it was the moment I realized I wanted her in my life more than I could caution myself for. And I had to move fast because I didn't want her to send me an invitation to her wedding. <laughs> That's funny. You know, I thought I lost you when we went back to SMS. I was deeply sad. Why? Is it because I'm great for your company? Yes, but it's not just about the company. It's not about work. You work hard, but it's not about it. Mm. You see, I've watched you closely for two months. I've seen how you work. I've seen how you deal with people. It's a reflection of who you are. And I want that. Even though I was increasingly scared that Nathan will come for you. So I went back to essence because I wanted to see if I could get closure. I wanted to hear his voice. I wanted to see his face. I wanted to stand in that place and just know what it felt like. How did you feel? I felt nothing. It was at that moment that I knew that it was all over. I left there just smiling, smiling at myself. Camilla, I want to tell you something. 
I want to hear it. You see, the last two years, mm. I've not been able to desire any woman. Because I was afraid. I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to give or receive love. But a few weeks after you walked into Welling, all of that changed. Coming out right now, I feel like I could give and receive love. You know, you are smart, kind, considerate, humble, and drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> and I want all of that for myself. That's if you think I'm good enough for you. Okay. <laughs> I... I don't know how to put this. I've... I've also had my eyes on you. And... I think that you're good for me. So, it's important for you to know your name, right? Okay, boss, is that how you ask your staff out or no. anything? No. <laughs> to be your girlfriend? <laughs> Was it? 